Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Toy Collector Review with me, Sergeant Geek. And like I said in my last video that I picked up that mini Optimus Prime that was kind of like an MP10. Well, I managed to get in the mail today the mini Pocket Wars version of Megatron. And I gotta say, this thing looks amazing. It's really cool. It does have a kind of difficult transformation. But in the end, it's well worth it. So let's go ahead and let's look at this figure. All right, guys. So here he is, the War in Pocket version of Mech G1 style Megatron. And I got to say, this thing is pretty freaking sweet. It's small. It's detailed. I like it. It looks really cool in both forms. Now, it does have a lot of different line separations in its bot mode. But... Due to the fact the way this transforms and how it looks in its robot mode, I could let that slide because this thing does look amazing. Now, guys, being that this is my first Megatron, I've never owned any of the Megatrons ever in the Transformers toy line. This is my very first Megatron, and I'm loving it. It is really cool. So, guys, let's go ahead and let's take a closer look at him in his gun mode. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at this figure. As you can see here in his full gun mode, which is based on the gun from that movie, A Man From Uncle. As you can see here, you got the silencer, you got the sight up top, and then you got the arm brace in the back, just like the original Megatron. Now, as you can see, it does have, you can see a lot of kibble on it due to the fact of its very uniquely way of transforming. It is kind of difficult, but once you figure it out, it's somewhat easy. Now, as you can see, we take off the silencer. It does have the orange cap there, which I don't know who would mistake this for a real gun being the size of it, the way it looks with all the kibble on it, and the simple fact compared to my hand, look how tiny it is. This thing is smaller than a 22 could ever be, but I get it. United States, we have to put the orange caps on everything and it doesn't interfere with any of the accessories like some of the other masterpieces that I've been seeing on YouTube that with the orange cap on the front, you actually cannot fit the silencer on some certain Megatron masterpiece figures that people actually had to remove it. But this company actually made it so you can still put the silencer on, which is really cool. So guys, let's go ahead. Let's put them in robot mode and let's check them out with all the extra features and accessories this guy comes with. The Transformers will return after these messages. Introducing the Transformers Power Cycle. You can imagine a world of adventures. Look, they're attacking the power plant. The Transformers, more than we speak. Time to transform into a robot. The Transformers, Back to cycle mode. Hey, what kind of wheels you got? More than meets the eye. The Transformers Power Cycle, new from Coleco. We now return to the Transformers. All right, guys. So here he is with all of the accessories. Now I know his name is not Megatron, but I can't remember the original name of this character. But for the sake of the video, I'll just continue calling him Megatron. So let's take a look at some of the details on Megatron here. Hopefully my camera can zoom in because he is various shades of gray, but you can see lots of detail for such a tiny figure. He looks like he could be a masterpiece in short form. It is really amazing how much detail there is to this guy. As you can tell by the size of those screws in his, in his cannon there, 
you can see the crack in the head. I'm going to explain that here in a little bit. Now, he does have a lot of craziness going on in the back. But like I've always said, he's never going to be facing the wall when he's on display. So it really doesn't bother me. But this guy does look amazing. He does have some weird little things about him. And we're going to get into those right now. All right, guys. So let's take a look at some of the articulation on him. As you can see at the head, he does have some up and down, a little bit left and right. And he can go 360 degrees. Now at the shoulder, he can make it just shy of 90 degrees because of those little bumps on the top of his shoulder. But he can rotate 360 at the shoulder. At the elbow, he does have elbow rotation and bend at 90 degrees and he does have wrist rotation now the legs he can do 90 degrees out to the side as you can see here now he does have a weird way of bending at the hip so let's take a look at that right now as you can see the way he bends he goes past 90 now i'm not sure if that's because of his bend or due to the fact the way his lower leg is formed but he can go a little bit past 90 and he can go past 90 at the knee bend so you can get him in somewhat cool decent poses now being this is my first time actually messing with this figure as you can see i'm trying to see if his leg goes back at all it doesn't seem like it wants to go back i'm not going to force it too much as these third party figures tend to be somewhat delicate so I don't want to break the leg and his feet have no articulation in it doesn't tilt up or down or left to right but let's go ahead and let's look at some of the accessories that come with this Megatron now if you notice earlier I sh you saw the slit in his head and that's because I pre loosened the head so I can take it off easier like this you can pop the face off and he comes with one of three faces that you can put on as you can see here, we got Angry Megatron, which is really cool. The, the way they paint the eyes and everything it looks really nice. You can put it on there. Now you got an Angry Megatron. Take that one off. We can go ahead and pop on the other piece. And I believe this one here is Laughing Megatron. So you get a laughing and angry and then a plain face Megatron. So you can express his face any way you want on the shelf as well which once again is pretty cool i know one of the other figures the larger scale fig masterpiece come with that but it's cool that it comes with such a small figure now the only fault i have in mind here as you can see when you put the blue she comes with a lot of blushes at the shoulder it does is not able to hold it due to the weight sticking so far out so the arm just slides down now i don't know if that's something that happens in all of them but it did happen with mine and once again not a big concern for me i'll find a way to tighten it up now he also does come with this helmet from one of the episodes when he was remotely controlling a clone of optimus prime it actually fits on him and it does have a tiny piece for the mic which is amazingly small but as you can see there you can stick it on there and now you got megatron with his little helmet controlling a clone of optimus prime once again a very cool feature as you can see here, you got the pistol from the Transformers the movie where he reaches and actually kills Optimus Prime. Lots of detail to it as you can see there. You also have this key. Now I'm not sure what this is from. If you guys know, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what this actually is from. And over here you got a couple of extra set of hands. They're still on the plastic knob. But you got a set of pointing fingers. There you go. A couple of set of pointing fingers there. Really nicely done. And then you have some open hands. Now these look pretty cool except for the palm is hollowed out. So I'm probably going to try to do something and fill that in. You also get his Energon Mace. Which once again is really cool that he actually comes with this thing right here. That's from one of the G1 episodes. And of course, you get an extra, three extra blushes here that you can stick into the barrel or whatever you want to do with them. They're probably just going to go on a draw. There you go, a couple extra blushes. 
All right, so let's just go ahead and put these Lucius off to the side. And let's take a look. He does have this Energon Knight here, which he used in Transformers the movie to cut open Optimus Prime. Once again, this guy, this guy comes with a lot of accessories. Once again, like all the other Megatron figures that I've seen, you can actually take his gun mode accessories and form this little tripod cannon. Now, guys, this, he does come with so many accessories. He is about $30 on AliExpress. Just the figure alone, I think, is worth it. But to have all these accessories come with it is really a great deal. If you're someone like me that can't afford the MP series figures, these are great, great buys right here. But guys, let's go ahead and let's do some comparisons with this figure. All right, so we got Megatron up on the turntable. Now, with the previous one of the mini OP Commander Convoy, uh, AKA Optimus Prime, we were able to do a size comparison. I'm not going to do it again because if you guys want to see the actual size of these guys, you can go to that video and then make your calls from there. But what I am going to do is compare him to the mini OP Commander Convoy. So let's bring him out right now. All right, so here we have our mini Megatron with our mini OP Commander Convoy. And as you can see, the Megatron is slightly bigger by maybe half a head. Once again, they look really great together. Not so great from the back as you can see here. But when you look at these guys from the front, they look awesome. And if you didn't know that they were actual mini figures, you could actually mistake these guys on a TV screen like this for being MP figures. They look that detailed and that amazing, guys. Well, guys, that's going to be it for this video right here. The Transformers will return after these messages. The Transformers, more than meets the eye. Autobots wait their weapons to destroy the evil forces of the Decepticons. The Transformers, more than meets the eye. The Transformers, robots in the sky. Attack the Autobot Commander! Call in the Decepticon leader! Transformers, the Transformers, sold separately from Hasbro. We now return to the Transformers. Once again, guys, that wraps up another episode of Toy Collector Review. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button, become a member of this channel. If you like the videos, hit that like button, leave me a comment in the comment section below, and share this video with everybody you know. And guys, don't forget, between September 26 and 28 at selected theaters, they are going to be playing Transformers the movie from 1986. Now, I don't know about you, but I am definitely going to try to make my way to one of the theaters as I never saw this movie in theaters. I had to actually wait for it to air on TV, but I'm going to try to watch it now. So, guys, once again, this is Sergeant Geek, and I'm signing off.